Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope everyone's having a good Thursday morning. Um, my name is Andrew Graeb. I am the uh, board certified music therapist here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about kind of what I, what I do and what that requires. Um, but I really do want to get into some music playing, um, which is a great thing to really do at home, especially with um, social distancing and being kind of at home more often now. I have uh, several different instruments here that I'm going to kind of demonstrate. Um, I have uh, Hamid Ibrahimafar, who, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, did some wonderful painting uh, with us as well. If you have any art or any painting that your, you or your children have been doing at home, please feel free to send it in to us. Um, and the same thing goes for music as well. So if you're um, making any music at home or anything like that, especially if you're probably looking for some other ideas, um, while you have the kids at home, that's a great way to bond and kind of work on that and kind of have that experience as well. So please feel free to, to, to show us what, what you've been doing. Um, so again, I'm a board certified music therapist. Um, and the simplest way that I can put it is that I use music to work on non-musical goals. So really, that's really about trying to find ways if somebody has, if it's an emotional need, a physical need, a cognitive need, how do I actually use music to help that? So I do want to show you really quick just a few different instruments and then we're going to get into some playing um, and kind of show you why we would actually use that. Uh, put this down here for a minute. Um, so I like to have a few different unique options for patients. Sometimes we have patients who are not musically inclined or maybe there's some apprehension about that. Um, so I'd like to give them a few different things maybe they haven't seen before. Um, one neat thing that we do here is that we do get regular shipments of ukuleles um, that our patients really enjoy and because of that, it's, uh, that donation allows us to actually send them home with a ukulele. So we'll often get patients who have never played anything and end up leaving a musician. Um, I bought a unique one today. This is called a banjo -lele. It's a ukulele that has kind of a banjo sound to it. I'll play a little bit for you just so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Um, let's play a few little chord progression here. So that's definitely a fun one that definitely kind of catches the eye uh, when our, we first start working with patients. Um, drumming's a really important part of what we do. Rhythm is really important, especially with um, rehabilitation, physical rehabilitation. We do a lot of drumming to kind of help with coordination, but it's also, it can also be kind of a stress reliever too. A lot of this is great for anxiety reduction too. Um, so different drums that we carry around. This is just a set of bongo drums. Um, it's really easy. It's good for kids of all ages. Um, it's got a kind of a different sound to it. Uh, something that we like to do around here is uh, therapeutic drumming. Uh, so when hopefully when we're able to kind of gather more together, it's something that we like to do here in the main hospital and actually open that up to patients and families and staff to come in and join in. It's, it's sort of like a drum circle, but a little bit more directed towards the, the therapeutic aspects of drumming. Um, another thing that I like to use as well, I kind of like to use this for more of a relaxation, kind of a meditation, uh, is something called an ocean drum, which uh, looks like that. Um, but has kind of a unique sound to it. Um, and this is a good way, especially for patients who want something a little bit less structured, uh, want something that they can easily control. Control is such an important thing for our patients that we have here, especially when they're in a situation where they don't have the kind of control that maybe they have at home. Um, it just sounds like this. It kind of gives that nice kind of sound like an ocean. And that's one that's really enjoyable for patients. I get a lot of positive comments from parents, too, who want to have something like that at home. Um, but now I'd like to get into a little bit of music playing. Um, so I'm going to involve Hamid here um, to kind of show like how I might work with a patient. We're just going to improvise some music together. 
Uh, I'm going to show them really just how, really how simple it is, how no musical ability is required, no prior training is required to be able to participate in music. Uh, so we're going to use something first here. It's this green drum here. It's called a tongue drum. Uh, and Hamid's going to grab those mallets. Um, and I'm going to set this up in a way where uh, I'm going to let Hamid initiate um, kind of how we're going to start. And then I'm going to join in with him. We'll play about a minute or two. And then I'll show you all one other instrument, too. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. I'm happy to answer them. Um, but let's play a little music. simple as that um, when it comes to playing music together. Um, again, it's just setting it up in a way where our patients can, um, can succeed and hopefully a light bulb goes off when, they have, when you experience that first moment of mus music. Um, we're going to try one other instrument. Uh, we're going to set up these handbells here. We can move this out of the way a little bit. Um, these are really neat to use for, again, for all ages. Um, I use these a lot when I am working with patients who might have some kind of physical disability um, or maybe as a result of a traumatic brain injury or something along those lines. Um, the neat thing about these is normally when you ring a bell, you pick it up like that. Now let's say you have a condition that doesn't allow you to actually grasp something. The beauty of these is you can simply just like that. And depending on the cognitive level of the patient, you might be able to actually use those to play some simple songs, uh, children's songs, Christmas songs that kind of fall within this range of notes. So we're just going to kind of improvise again with this, but it'll sound a little bit different. I'm just going to ask Hamid again to kind of start off. I'll actually start us off this time, then Hamid's going to join me. Uh, so we'll do that a little bit different this time. We'll do a little bit, a little bit slower one this time. <laughs> That's another great thing that we like to use with our patients. It's great for range of motion. Uh, it can also, it's just really, can be really a pleasant experience as well. Um, so those are, those are a couple examples of some things that we might actually do here. Um, let's try one more 
really brief one if that, that's all right. Um, let's go with, let's do kind of, um, this will be more kind of a way that I sometimes like to end sessions. We're going to use, bring out the ocean drum again. And this is going to be a little bit more kind of as a mindfulness meditation kind of thing. Um, so Hamid will start playing the drum, and I'm just going to kind of react to him and play along with that. So I encourage everyone at home just to kind of listen, take a nice, take some nice deep breaths. We really all need that right now. Um, and if you need to close your eyes, um, take some, get some breathing in, and just kind of focus on that. Just give yourself a chance to take a break for a minute or two. Drum or it it just just move it around, yeah, oh. just kind of get those beats going. <laughs> Thank you, Hamid. So those are just a few examples of what we do with music therapy here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Um, again, um, music is a great thing that you can use at home. Um, it's okay. It's, it doesn't matter if you've had any kind of training before. It doesn't matter if you've played an instrument before. Uh, listen, having music playing, um, even if you're you know, breaking out some pots and pans and just having your little kids play on them or something like that. It's uh, a great uh, use of your time, a great way to get uh, focused up, and um, it's something that you can incorporate into everyday life. Um, again, feel free to submit any questions or comments. I'm happy to happy to answer them, um, and I appreciate everybody tuning in.